Keith Vaughn's Flying Circus. I'm Keith Vaughn. Yeah, we've completed our Texas 207 part of our road trip. We made our way to Amarillo and headed west on 40 or Route 66 to our destination of Tucumcari, New Mexico, and to our favorite motel on the route, the Road Runner Lodge. Yeah, there's the Jeep Gladiator that has served us well on this trip. And we will now give a room tour of our motel room at the Road Runner Lodge on August 17, 2024. Room 36, right at the end. Yeah, these rooms are uh, recreated to feel like the 1960s. The only clue you've got that it's 2024 is the TV. Hey, there I am. Yeah, remember bathroom motels that were like this? Back in the day. David Bender, who owns the Roadrunner Lodge, has recreated an absolute a fun place to go. It's our, you might say it's a destination location for us on Route 66. That's the view out our window. Tucumcari Mountain. And the radio that's always playing old commercials and music. We found this in our room. An old hair dryer. The way they used to be. Not only a hair dryer, but a dryer for your nails. Right there, that hole, I guess you stuck your fingers in there. And it would dry your nails. Check it out. I showed this to Lisa and she said, well, uh, can't use it because there's no bag for your hair. Oh, really? There it is. Yeah. We didn't try it out. We should have, though. Now. We're settled in. Time for a meal at La Cita. Another destination location for us when we hit Tucumcari. Never disappoints. We got a super cool staff and the food is amazing. It's, that's not Tex-Mex. That is New Mexico Mex. <laughs> And after we ate, we just drove around for a while and saw this rainbow off in the distance. Yeah, New Mexico beauty. Oh, I've seen this location lots of times and always intended to pull over and check it out so we did this time from what i hear nothing is for sale nothing but it's all right there kind of on display i got a kick out of the eat more beef sign Hanging on the building back there. Those things used to be all over the panhandle. Yeah, big dog will get ya. I think that's a 28 or a 29 Ford. 50 Ford.
cities. I believe. They had lots of cars, even behind the ones lined up by the fence. Even an ambulance back there. So we drove back into Tucumcari and headed for downtown. Found this old body shop. Lena's Cafe. It's a half block east. Right down the road from that intersection. Yeah, half block east would be very close to the Tucumcari train station. Now, after a night's rest, the next morning, August 19, or 18. Man, the air was thin and cool at that time of the morning in New Mexico. Awesome. Many lodgers already have gotten up and hit the road. Route 66 on a Sunday morning, August 18, 2024. Hey, we're about to go ahead and check out of the Roadrunner Lodge and then head over to breakfast right across the road at Kicks on 66. Breakfast always stellar, always amazing. And you talk about a great friendly staff. Very cool people here. Coffee and orange juice, ready to go. Yeah, we're gonna take our key back. <laughs> oh, breakfast was awesome. Look at that. Man, wish I'd gotten French toast. And before we hit the road, we saw this place down the road on Old Route 66 in Tucumcari. All of these old mid-50s to mid-60s cars all lined up. Many Edsels. Edsel Ranger. I believe we have a Corsair Edsel. Yeah, there's the uh, citation. Originally purchased in Wyoming, but ended up in New Mexico. That Buick look is restorable, just like this Chevrolet does. Believe that's a 58 Chevy. Another Edsel. In 
and Studebaker. It was a great time in Tucumcari once again. Now, on back to Amarillo. Hey, we appreciate you checking out our road trip up the Mother Road, Route 66 to Tucumcari. We do this quite a bit. We are Route 66ers and lovers of the Mother Road. Hey, come back for more Route 66 content here at Keith Vaughn's Flying Circus. And man, I do appreciate your subscription in a big way. Take care. God bless.